All right, guys. So in this module, we're going to talk about understanding Facebook ad angles. Okay, and this is a concept that I know a lot of you guys are very new to uh, because there's not a lot of gurus out there that actually talk about it. Matter of fact, there's very, I think there's only about four people that actually ever speak about ad angles. Okay, because the rest of the guys, you know, they're just, they're just talking to you about stuff they've never done, right? But anyone that does a lot of Facebook ads or that did a lot of Facebook ads really understands the concept of ad angles and how they work. Okay, so let's get to it. What is an ad angle? So an ad angle is nothing but this unique hook or marketing message to market a product, right? So here's a few solid examples of what an ad angle is um, or an advertising angle is. So audience one. So let's say you were selling that mug, right? That, that I showed you earlier on in the modules, the, the Viking mug the bug of Malhalla or whatever you call it. So if I was, let's say, advertising this mug to people that love Thor, like that's that's my, if that's my audience, here's a few angles. The first angle is called the love angle. Okay, so it's like buy this mug if you love Thor. Okay, so that's gonna be the whole angle. The second angle is the tribe angle, which is are you part of a tribe? Which in this case, the ad, if I was using this angle is buy this mug if you truly are a Norseman. Right, like it's like oh, if you're if you're a Norseman, and you're part of the Norse community, buy this mug, right? That's the tribe angle. Number three is the testimonial angle, which is where you use testimonial. So you post a picture of this guy with this mug, saying all my friends complimented me this uh, complimented me on this mug, um, or uh, when they, when they came to a party, it was just the most fun thing ever. So yeah, so th these are all like hooks that you could use, right? So these are called ad angles. Audience number two, let's say you were selling the same mug to people that love skulls, okay? Um, which sounds a bit, uh, which sounds a bit gory and horrific, uh, matter of fact, but, you know, uh, some people, I mean, like sugar skulls, you know, skull designs or anything like that. So let's take that into account, right? So angle number one, do you love skulls? If yes, buy this. That's again the same love angle. There's another angle called extreme relatability angle, right? And these are angles that are a bit aggressive. Um, sometimes too aggressive and can get your ad account banned on Facebook if you don't do it right. So proceed with caution when using this angle. So for example, in this case it is, do you want to drink coffee from the skull of your enemies, right? Buy this. It is fun, but it's also extreme, right? No, I mean, guys, drinking drinking blood from the skull of your enemies is not fun, but um, the, the, the whole angle, the whole uh, phrase and the way it sounds is fun, right? Angle number three, the skull mug helped me throw the best party ever. Testimonial angle. So these are some of like these are a few more of these angles that you could use. The problem agit the pain agitate solution uh, angle. So this is where you basically hit their pain points in the ads. Uh, the advertorial or the landing page agitates the pain and then sells them on your program or your product. The secret desire angle. So you find out what the secret desire of your audience is and then hint at that on the ad. So for example, if you were selling, let's say, um, weight loss supplements, the secret desire for a guy trying to lose weight is to attract more women, right? Is to, is to, is to be more attractive to members of the opposite sex. So the way you do that is you hint at that. Right, so it's like just become like this very attractive figure and be the most talked about person. Imagine all the girls talking about you, that kind of stuff. You hit a secret desire, right? And then and he feels understood. Controversial angle. By the way, guys, one of the greatest copywriting tips that I'll ever give you is to make your customer feel understood. Okay, because everyone believes that their situation is unique. Everyone believes that their situation, like no one else has it. So as long, like, like the moment you get into your copyright and the moment you get into your advertising and make the person feel like you understand exactly the situation that he's in, you'll be able to sell him anything. Okay, so remember that. Controversial angle. So this is the angle where you use controversy to get attention and sell stuff. Okay, so counter, like, look, attention is king, right? And if controversy can get your attention, why not, right? So the next angle is wanted, buy it angle. This is the simplest one of them all, okay? Your ad should literally say, want this cool product, buy it here, you know? And this works best for impulse buy products or low ticket products with high emotional value. Storytelling angle. This is the angle where you use stories to sell stuff, right? So you may you you create the story 
Um, you don't actually create stories, but I don't I, like don't fake a story, but take stories that are relevant, put put them together, and sell your product using them. Okay, so that's that's also really important. With that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this module. I'll see you in the next one. All right, peace.